G'day everybody and welcome back. Something completely different this time. As you know, Cincinnati is a horizontal mill with a universal vertical head. Now to run the horizontal shaft or the horizontal spindle, I've got to run the spindle in reverse. Now, when I first got that mill, it had a three phase 415 volt um, motor in it, three horsepower motor and I put a single phase two horsepower in it. But now I wanna run the horizontal spindle and I wanna spin, like run that in reverse. I've decided to go with a three horsepower, three phase motor and a VFD. Now these are just eBay specials. We haven't invested a lot of money into it. I've just gotta make it fit, which is gonna be the hard part because it's heavy. And there's bugger all room as you'll see down in the in the cavity in the mill. See how I go, it's gonna take me quite a few days the way I'm feeling. But it took me nearly two and a half days to make the last video. <laughs> I haven't got much grunt. <laughs> anyway, see how we go. I hope you enjoy this one. I don't know how it's all gonna pan out, but we'll we're gonna find out. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit hard to show you in here, but as you can see coolant tank is down the bottom. I've got to get this motor out. The footprint on the motor is slightly larger on the new engine, on the new electric motor. So I'm going to have to modify that a little bit. It's meant to have three V-belts running it. I've only ever had one and it's never given any trouble. So I might give it a birthday and put two new ones on it. I'll see how I go. Off camera, I'm going to get this motor out because it's just, it's awkward and it's fiddly. Okay, we've got the old one out. As you can see, it's a fairly decent hole in there. Now, when I originally put that single phase motor in, I didn't have many dollars. So, what I've done, I put them pieces of steel under there to build it up so I could run that belt. I'm thinking, to give me a bit more room to play with, is to mount the new motor directly to this base, or to these bases, and shout out to new belts, I think. Okay, I've had the uh, Bluetooth electrician around and he's wired up the um, the motor. Last night after dinner, I come out and got the pulley fitted up. Uh, how easy it is to see in there, but that's where it's got to go. <laughs> but I think I can get it. I'm not going to try and film it because there's, there's not much room for arms and hands and trying to lift it and it's bloody awkward but as you can see this back one here it just floats it can go back and forwards on its own accord um dismounted on the side there but that's how you get your distance it's just gonna it's just gonna be a mongrel job to get it in there now anyway, i'm gonna have a crack at it and see how i go okay i've got it in there now one of the problems I've got is to get this alignment because I had the um, steel blocks under the last motor that bring the motor out further then the pulleys lined up a lot better the way it is at the moment running it off this standard mount is run off this outside pulley which will go to the inside pulley up here inside V so it's not going to hurt just running one belt. That's all I've really ever run it on is just one belt. But then the other thing is, is there's a casting up, it's hard to see, it's casting in here that clashes with this. So I can't bring the motor out any further because when you get the adjustment, it clashes and holds the motor up. So a little bit of fiddly. I don't really want to grind any of the casting out if I can help it. But if I have to, well, I have to. But preferably not. Anyway, I'm just going to go and get a couple of belts from down the shop so that I can get to work. But... Okay, I have that all aligned. And I'd be using an A54 belt. It's not ideal. I would have loved to have had dual pulleys, uh, dual belts, two belts on it. But <clears throat> like I said before, it's, it's always ran on one belt, so it's not going to hurt. The only other option I've got is later on is to build another pulley that has 
another like another row that might be a good project for later on and just replace the pulley but for now that's going to do it's all lined up I've got plenty of adjustment left uh, I've got plenty of clearance where it hinges down in here well, you may be able to see it but plenty of clearance when the belt stretches um, all I've got to do is run the electrical cable down and out through the side of the casting but I think I can put this back cover back on now wipe all this down, clean it all up put this back cover on yeah, run the wire down and then shut the door Rightio, I've just been in doing some partial editing and I realise I've skipped over a fair bit of this simply there was no room to try and get that motor in there on your own, like on my own and try and film, it's a pain in the ass and the last few days we've had over 100 mil of rain and the noise on this roof is tremendous um, it's very very hard to film so we've got a big east coast low on us at the moment and it's yeah things are getting flooded pretty bad the highway's shut so we've had a lot of rain but that's beside the point now the vfd i've got mounted on the wall don't like that idea um, I am going to reposition that. Okay, the rain's just eased off a little bit. I can hear myself now. So down where that's bolted on, there used to be an electrical box. So I've just picked up on the two holes, just put a stem up, and I'm just going to mount that plate the VFDs on now. I just mount that to this post. I just bolt the VFD to it, I think. That'll do for now. I may even change it later on. That's why I'm not making nothing too elaborate just because i don't like it it's on there it looks crap but coat of paint fixes anything bit of cable management required so this is just to see if it is going to be suitable um, it's more than likely going to get changed at some stage yeah but it's on there it means now it's attached to the machine then i can just pull the plug out of the wall and put the pallet jack under it move the machine out like I do pretty regularly to clean underneath it it'll do for now until I come up with a better idea I'm going to pull this bracket off give it a coat of paint rough coat bolt it back up bit of cable management and then we're done okay I got it all back on still get access to this door enough to get the spare drawbar or a different drawbar there's nothing in there really it's just a piece of rag some old tea nuts I never normally go into that cupboard but at least now I can unplug it and just wheel the machine out which is a good thing and it's easy enough to use I remember to swap it over to reverse to run the vertical spindle and it's a lot it's not as noisy as what I expected it'll be interesting to see how it comes out on camera but yeah, normally they're as noisy as all buggery. And that motor's heaps quieter than what the original one, the single phase was. It'll do for now. Rough as guts. But it's functional. Yeah, to run this as a horizontal mill, I have to move this DRO scale. It's got to be taken out 15 mil. Because when the table goes up, this here clashes on this casting. So if I give it 15 mil, it'll it'll clear. So I'm going to get that done over the next few days off camera because I don't really feel that well. It's taken me a couple of days just to get where I am now. <laughs> About three days, four days. I've got to make up a new drawbar to when I take this head off to suit the ER40 50 taper arbor. We'll be able to run it as a horizontal end. Put a bit of aluminium in here to reduce this down to 15 mil in thickness for the spaces for the so I can shift the scale on the DRO. This is tapered obviously so it's going to get a fairly heavy cut towards the end.
Okay, so this is an 8mm depth of cut. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, that seemed to went all right. It wasn't much of a test for the motor, but it cut it. So that got me enough there for two pieces to space out the um, the DRO on the Y axis. So at least that's done now. I can get that done over the next few days. Get that shifted out, and hopefully get a draw bar made and tested out the horizontal side. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a bit of a vlog more than a video, if you want to call it a vlog. Um, it's functional, it works, see how it goes. If it gives me the, um, if it cracks me too much, then I'll just put a, um, which I should have done in the first place, is just got a, a drum switch and put on that single phase motor. But I didn't think of that, did I? So, anyway. It's there now, it's in, it's running, and hopefully in the next week or so I'll be able to have a crack at that vertical, at the horizontal shaft and see how that goes. So I'm pretty keen. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and um, see you later. I do apologise for the quality of videos, pretty crap, I know. But it is what it is. Hooroo.